Tyra Banks was just 15 years old when she began modeling. And since then, she has earned countless magazine covers and solidified herself as one of the world's top earning models. As she transitioned into acting and hosting, everyone wanted to be associated with her, especially the industry's most eligible men. Rumor has it, Tyra has been pursued by Tiger Woods, Michael Jordan, and Will Smith. But in this video, we'll be talking about the struggles she faced in her significant relationships before finally finding true love. Before we jump into the video, it's time to announce our official RRG podcast hosted on Patreon, where you can listen to a catalog of some of our most popular videos in audio format. Plus, you'll gain access to one exclusive, never-before-seen, super-messy video per month. Click the link in our bio for more info. Now, let's dive deep into the sad truth about Tyra Banks' love life. While in high school, Tyra began dating a fellow student named Craig Taylor. We're unsure when they broke up, but after graduating, Tyra was more focused on her career. She was accepted to Loyola Marymount University, but decided to skip out on college to focus on being a model and actress. By this point in her life, she was accustomed to being pursued by men, and there was one guy in particular who was desperate for her attention, Def Jam executive Russell Simmons. Vanity Fair reports he was interested in Tyra and many other models up until he saw Tyra's good friend, 17-year-old Kimora Lee Perkins, on the catwalk at the Mary McFadden runway show. Kimora told Vanity Fair that Tyra approached Russell and told him, leave her alone, she's a good girl, she's not like those floozies that you know. Russell and Kimora ignored her and everyone else standing in their way. They moved forward with their relationship once Kimora turned 18, and she said, all the girls that were telling me he was no good had slept with him or were trying to sleep with him, I later learned. I won't name names. It's safe to assume Tyra wasn't one of the women who was trying to mess with Kimora's man because Tyra later became one of Kimora's five bridesmaids on her wedding day. Tyra appeared on the June 1993 cover of Essence magazine looking as fine as ever. The cover caught the attention of director John Singleton's publicist. The publicist reached out to Tyra and said she might be good for John's next film. She told TV One's Uncensored, the audition was held in Los Angeles and John was impressed. She booked the role of Omar Epps' track star girlfriend in the film Higher Learning, but that's not the only thing she snagged. John was interested in her and they became Hollywood's hottest couple. Even though her appearance in the film impressed critics, John wanted Tyra to focus on her education. Tyra agreed it was a good idea and told Entertainment Weekly she wanted to finish her degree before settling down and adopting five children. In January 1995, Entertainment Weekly reported Tyra was wearing a diamond sapphire friendship ring that John had given her. Their relationship came to an end shortly thereafter. There were countless rumors about what caused their breakup, and many people believe Tyra and the late director had a very toxic relationship. During an interview with Ryan Seacrest, she opened up about a boyfriend who emotionally and physically harmed her. She refused to reveal the boyfriend's name or when the relationship took place because she was afraid the radio host would easily figure out who she was talking about. Tyra did mention that the experience caused her to struggle in dating and relationships. Tyra continued to expose her dating life in an interview with Oprah Winfrey. This time, she spoke about a relationship where things didn't get physical, but behind closed doors, her boyfriend was a nightmare. She said, there were blows to my spirit, blows to my emotional well-being every day. She turned to her mom and asked her to help her get away from him. However, her mom told her, you have to do this on your own. I will not tell you to leave and I will not cut you off from him because you'll just run out in the middle of the night and go straight back. With no other options, she made a plan for herself and was finally able to walk away. Tyra began dating musician Seal in the spring of 1995. In an interview with the New York Post, it was noted that 32-year-old Seal divided his time between London and Los Angeles, where he would spend time with 21-year-old Tyra. For those who were disturbed by their age difference, Seal told the Times, but women mature faster than men. They tried to keep their relationship under the radar for the most part. Many people assumed Seal's album, Human Being, was inspired by the supermodel. But he told Andy Cohen on an episode of Watch What Happens Live, it wasn't inspired by her, but we bump into each other every now and then. There's no drama. During the next few years, Tyra would casually date many celebrities, including Rick Fox. 
During a night out, Tyra introduced Rick to her acquaintance, Vanessa Williams. According to the New York Post, a year later, when Rick and Tyra's relationship went sour, Rick began dating and later married Vanessa. Dating celebrities clearly wasn't working out for her, so Tyra decided to switch things up by dating a regular guy in 1999. He wasn't a new love, though. Tyra rekindled her romance with her high school sweetheart, Craig Taylor. That romance was short-lived, and Tyra moved on with NBA player Chris Webber in 2001. She was spotted at his Sacramento Kings home games and his away games. Three years after going public, the SF Gate report and Tyra and Chris spent the entire summer together in New York City, and it made them realize they were ready to settle down and exchange vows. The wedding never happened, and they reportedly split in 2004. Tyra spoke with Entertainment Weekly in August 2005 about a relationship that, quote, had not just cheating, but emotional abuse. Tyra said the situation was really bad, but it made her a stronger person. As usual, she didn't name names, but everyone had their suspicions. She was ready to head back into the dating world, but struggled with finding the right guy. During an October 2006 appearance on the Oprah and Friends program with Maya Angelou, Tyra stated, the dating thing is hard, Dr. Angelou. Do you know anybody? Dr. Angelou instructed Tyra to slow down, smell the roses, and put pen to paper to describe her ideal man. And less than a year later, Tyra finally met the man of her dreams, John Utiendo, the owner of the largest African-American-owned investment banking group in the U.S. During an interview on The Wendy Williams Show, Tyra gushed about her new boyfriend, their close partnership, and their desire to have children. Although she also wanted to get married, she admitted that a wedding wasn't necessary to prove their love. While managing her duties on America's Next Top Model and the program Stylista, 34-year-old Tyra was also spending a lot of time with 51-year-old John, who was based out of New York. She moved her talk show from L.A. to New York, and many believed it was because she wanted to be closer to her boyfriend. She told the New York Times, I would never move the show for a man. It was because I prefer the pace and excitement of New York to Los Angeles. In 2009, there were rumors they had gotten engaged, which Tyra denied in a since-deleted tweet. Sadly, in the fall of 2011, she and John broke up. Page Six reported John had already moved on with, quote, a leggy Russian model. In December of that year, Tyra packed her things and went on what was described as an eat, pray, love style trip to Bali. An insider called it a spiritual retreat. But the getaway turned into an opportunity for Tyra to find someone new. People magazine reported that while in Bali, Tyra met a native of the Indonesian island and they clicked. She returned to New York and the two began a long distance relationship. Tyra was reportedly so smitten by him, she flew back to Bali to spend some time with her new boo for the holidays. It's unclear what happened between the two of them, but by 2013, Tyra was kissing Bow Wow on an episode of 106 and Park. And in January 2014, there were rumors she was dating Uber investor Shervin Pishiver. Tyra shut that rumor down by providing Access Hollywood with a photograph of the man she had been quietly dating since 2013, Norwegian photographer Eric Osla. They met when Eric appeared as a guest on the Norway version of America's Next Top Model. Two years later, in January 2016, 42-year-old Tyra told People magazine her dream finally came true. She and Eric welcomed a baby boy named York via surrogate. But just six months later, Page Six reported she and Eric's relationship was hanging by a thread. An insider told the website that the first few months after their son's birth added stress to the couple's relationship. Eric had reportedly told family members he was looking to move out of their L.A. mansion and into his own apartment. The couple finally announced their breakup in October 2017 after close to four years of dating. Although their relationship was over, they were committed to co-parenting their son, and Tyra also received a lot of help from her mom. She told ET Online that she, her mom, and her son developed such a close bond. They would all get into the bed together and relax. The three-person slumber parties had to take a back seat in August 2018 when she began dating Canadian businessman and father of one, Louis Ballinger Martin. By November 2019, Page Six reported they were living together, but Lewis was also spending a lot of time at his other residences, including an apartment he shared with his ex-wife in England, a home in Barbados, and a home in Quebec. In April 2019, the entertainment industry was rocked when Tyra's ex-boyfriend, John Singleton, passed away at the age of 51 after
after suffering a stroke. Tyra sent her condolences in this tweet. As of this video, things appear to be going well for Tyra and Lewis. An insider told Page Six they were a pretty happy couple. There were rumors that they had gotten engaged after Tyra was spotted out with a ring on her finger. But in September 2020, Tyra confirmed they weren't engaged but were still together. A friend described the couple as very, very much in love. And we're so happy Tyra has found the loving relationship she deserves. We wish her and Lewis nothing but the best. Let us know if you're shocked by her dating history. And thanks for watching Real Reality Gossip.